Thank we're you. We're joined now from Salford uh, by the Shadow Communities Secretary Andrew Gwynn, who has been launching Labour's local elections campaign um, this morning. Welcome to the programme, Andrew. Um, so you've launched your local uh, election campaign, a rather auspicious start, though, isn't it, with at least two if not more, councillors defecting to the Tories. Well, of course, you have movements like this all the time, Joe. Uh, and I'm very genuinely sorry that Chris feels that he's no longer part of the Labour family because, actually, local government and the message we will be taking out as part of this local election campaign, local government is the uh, bedrock of how mm. we improve our uh, local communities, how we ensure that we live in a fairer, more decent, more equal society. And I believe that the Labour message of ensuring that we have properly funded public services after eight years of Tory austerity is really starting to resonate right. in so many parts of the country. But, but what do you say to a foot soldier like Chris Barron, who's been in the party for 30 years, saying that the Tories are now mainstream politics? They offer stability. The extremes, the Labour Party, supported by Momentum, uh, he said, who have infiltrated his local party, are not... Uh, worthy of his support. Joe, there's nothing mainstream about 50% cuts to council budgets. So there's he's wrong. No there's nothing mainstream about sure start centres being closed. There's nothing mainstream about a million elderly people not being able to get the social care packages that they need. Mm. We need a Labour government working alongside Labour councils uh, to ensure that our public services are properly fin financed right. and funded. Right. And that's what the Labour Party is all about. And and that's the message we will be taking out to the doorsteps uh, ahead of the elections on May the 3rd. People put their faith um, in Chris and one of his colleagues in the local area um, and they've let their voters down by defecting, haven't they? Well, Chris has to justify his own movements to another party, to the party that has... Well, he blames you. He blames that, Labour. Well, that has a party that has presided over the decimation of local services. Oh. Uh, we are talking about massive cuts. The local government association, Tory controlled, incidentally, mm. the local government association is saying that in the decade to 2020, yeah. there will be a funding gap for our crucial, vital public services of £5.8 billion. Yeah. That happened on the Conservatives' watch. Okay. Now, Chris has to justify uh, the reasons why he thinks those cuts are right. Yes, I, I don't think those cuts are right. I think we need to be making sure that we reinvest in our public right. services. Right, and so you're committed to reinvesting. You say that local services have been decimated. I mean, this is extremely serious in the way that you've articulated. As you say, you've got the support of the Local Government Association. £5.8 billion has been taken out. Why is the Labour manifesto only promising an extra £1.5 billion a year? That's not going to help uh, uh, restore the services that have been decimated by you but of course you've been very by selective the Tories, there sorry what, what, what we have uh, what we have committed to in the Labour manifesto is 1.5 billion pounds for general council services this year mm -hmm. we've also uh, committed to 8 billion pounds uh, on adult social care at the autumn budget over, we, over a period of how long well over the period of the next Parliament right so that's about um, two billion a year but but Joe this is all adding up Should, we've not to 5.8 billion well, it doesn't we've, We've also committed uh, th for the £2 billion that the Local Government Association says uh, our children's services need, uh, and we pressed this in a vote in the autumn budget in November when the right. Tories gave a £5 billion tax giveaway to the banks. Okay. We think those are the wrong priorities, and we would also reinvest £500 million back in early years, reinventing Sure Start, that oh. was so critical to ensuring that those children and those families Families got the support that they needed right. uh, to give them the best possible start in Andrew, life. Just, just stay there a moment. Um, Trevor, does Andrew have your support um, in these local elections? Oh, well, uh, I'm not ambiguous about this at all. I'm a Labour supporter, I'm a Labour member and will continue to be. I think Chris is wrong to leave. Uh, but what I would say is that if Labour is going to win, it's got to have a message that is a bit bigger than Tories are bad. Right. I mean, what do you say? Because everything you've said in this interview has been about how awful the Conservatives are, rightly or wrongly, and all about the cuts and the decimation of local services. Where's the bright optimism? Where's the future under Labour? 
Well, the bright op op optimism is that vision of hope, that vision mm. of opportunity, that vision mm. that Britain yes. does not but have what, to be like this, what are the this, policy Joan? measures behind well, that? Well, I've just told you, we're reinvesting in our public services. We are making sure that our children get the best start in life that we can provide them. We're ensuring that our communities become stronger again. We're ensuring that our elderly uh, can grow old with dignity and with appropriate care. Right, and I Andrew. actually think when you put that together, Joe, that is a real positive vision for the future. And are you convinced you're going to take uh, Westminster Council? Well, well, look, I'm not going to speculate before a single vote's been counted. No, right, we, 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 we are expecting good election results okay. on the 3rd of May, uh, but beyond that, let's wait and see. Andrew Gwynne, thank you. Thank you. Now,